Queensland, beautiful one day. Perfect the next. Red canvas makes it easy to find and to Some interesting locals. Ready. But don't believe what the brochure says, it's not always perfect. Join us for our week at Tiawa Beach. Tiawa Beach is located 155 kilometers north of Brisbane. This is the entrance to the beach now, and we stopped to let our tires down. You need a permit to access the beach, and there are number plate recognition security cameras at each entrance. The beach road runs from Noosa North Shore to Rainbow Beach and as part of the Great Sandy National Park. Our campsite was located around 20 kilometers from the entrance. Driving down Tiawa Beach Road now. Really excited to be able to get out and just relax for the next week. This is a gazetted road and it's accessible by four-wheel drive only. It is around 60 kilometers long. We had a permit for Camping Zone 6 and we found ourselves a beautiful spot. We had just finished making our awning and we needed to test it out. Couldn't think of a better spot. We've got these twist ties, so now I'm going to tie the bottom of the poles to the poles so that we can then figure out if that's a good system or if we need a better system. This was the first time I tried talking to camera. As you can tell, I need a bit more practice. Never had time to finish off the flaps covering the windows, so that will be our job when we get back. So these are our camp chairs that we bought from India. It must be a good 10 years ago now. Um, the campaign furniture that I happened to find online, and I think it's probably been the best purchase. The weather was great, the sun was shining, it was perfect for photos at sunset. The next morning we woke to a magnificent sunrise, so we took the opportunity for another series of photos. After the shoot, it was back to the truck for coffee. This is a very special place. Behind you are cliffs and in front the ocean. Our campsite was very close to the water. We 
You can see by the tracks in the sand, some people drive very close to the campsite. With the noise of the ocean, you can't hear the cars coming, so you need to be careful. We were there midweek, so it was a little quieter. We love the ocean, so I decided to go for a swim while Ian was flying the drone. As you can tell, he kept a close eye on me. canvas makes them easy to find and to The march flies were out in force. I missed! Got it. Luckily, we had our trusty SWAT. They just kept on coming. Birds are abundant here. We had this pair of seahawks circling our site. We love walking on the beach, so we decided to go and have a look at the other camping areas. After walking for an hour or so, we could see the clouds on the horizon. On the way back, the weather started to change. When we got back, we had a visitor, and our pile of marsh flies had gone. We tried talking to camera again. I definitely need more practice. <laughs> we had a bit of an accident with some coffee, which meant we had to do some emergency washing. I got the blame, of course. Later that afternoon, the wind rarely picked up. There were gusts of up to 70 kilometers an hour. The awning and the new pegs held up well. We've had really bad weather, so we're cooking inside tonight. We have some bad clips. When I cook, I usually do enough for two or three meals. It goes in the fridge or freezer for lunches or when we really don't feel like cooking. Before eating, I decided to go outside and have a look. One section of the awning had sagged. The next day, we realized we'd put the pole in the wrong place. After the adjustment, it was fine. Got as far away enough as possible from the truck, and Sydney came to put it down. 
you turned around and came back uh, a little bit wet, a bit cold. So going inside now to start up the truck, get warm, have a nice cup of coffee. and the salt off my legs. We went to the seat with my small. We had a break in the weather on Friday afternoon, so we decided to go for another walk. Being the weekend, the traffic started to pick up, so we set up the camera for a time lapse. and the cars are still coming. It was time to start packing up. The next day we woke to torrential rain. off for a bit so we quickly packed up the awning and hit the road. The drive down the beach wasn't nearly as much fun as the drive in. The sand was chewed up and there were a lot of cars. We were glad to finally get off. We pumped our tyres back up and headed back to the ferry. Thank you for your amazing response to our videos. We really appreciate the support. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment to let us know what you think.